A wheel tax, as you know, is an extra registration fee charged for each motor vehicle in a county or municipality. Of course, there are those that oppose any wheel tax because it is considered regressive. Others don't like a wheel tax because it may be used to uh, get around levy limits. If the residents want a wheel tax, they can and should have a wheel tax. On the other hand, if residents don't want a wheel tax, they can vote out the officials that imposed it, but many times they're still stuck with the fee. Uh, I think we all know that once this is in place, and it has happened, that the wheel tax has increased over time. So on top of the registration fee, you're going to pay a wheel tax, and it will probably, most likely, as in some cases, continue to escalate. When other uh, areas of government, whether it's school districts or cities, want to raise money, they have the option to go to a referendum. And this just equalizes that. If you want to take more money from the people, ask them whether they want to pay more or not. One of the reasons I, I think that angered me um, uh, and I don't represent Milwaukee County, but I have friends that live there, and, you know, the registration fee is $75 per vehicle. And then Milwaukee County imposed the $30 wheel tax. City of Milwaukee imposed the $20 wheel tax. So on top of the $75, people are paying an extra $50 per vehicle. In Milwaukee County alone, the wheel tax raised about $13.5 million. They used $11.5 million of that to purchase buses. You know, only $2 million of that actually went for road repair.